appreciate that. Voters rejected referendums for four area school districts yesterday. News 9's Tom Lally has been looking into this. He talked with each of the districts about what comes next. Yeah, outside of Wausau, Elko, Medford, and Tomahawk all asked voters to extend funding for the district. Voters said no. We were close, uh, 51 votes, uh, looks like, uh, separated us from uh, the approval. A 50-50 split in Tomahawk means the district will not receive an extra $3.5 million per year. Uh, very disappointing, of course. The district says it needs that money to continue functioning as it is, so a similar referendum may be on your April ballot. Staying north in Elko, 55% of voters in the district say no to exceeding the revenue limit by a million dollars each year. We, we have to rely on, on the revenue limit override in order to keep doors open. Without the referendum, the district could have close to a million dollar deficit. Are you saying the district might eventually have to close its doors? Well, uh, obviously, if we, uh, uh, if we run out of uh, money to operate, uh, then yes, that is a possibility. To the southwest between Marathon and Taylor counties, the Medford School District. We didn't have a plan B. Um, we, we concentrated on the referendum and, and we'll see. 51% of voters there say no to $40 million in building upgrades, making schools accessible for students with disabilities and other improvements. But, you know, the system is, is what it is. And, and we heard from the voters that there's not support for it. Each district, except for Medford, tells me there's a good chance you'll see a new referendum trying to get that funding in the April ballot. Live in Wausau, Tom Lally, News 9, WAOW.